come and see that which the system hides from your consciousness. Come see the mystifying evil that is femininity, both subjugated and diluted by the male gaze. I love it. What is it? I see it as an expression of feminist rage and retaliation against an oppressive society. Um, actually, wait, no, it's like that, that scene in Pulp Fiction, you know? Yeah, no, yeah like, exactly. like with the girl Does the telling of history pass the Bechdel test? It does not. I shall hold this ground between my toes, gripping tight with the might of my foremothers. And now, I will stand before you, just as I came into this world, with my mind and my skin bare. Please don't worry. As a public defender, I've dealt with many similar cases before. Public indecency is a serious charge, but we've got a standard response which is very successful with the county judges. So if you would just go ahead and sign here to indicate that you were intoxicated at the time of exposure, and let's see, based on your outfit, I'm sure we can get a positive drug test of some I kind. I was stone cold sober during that performance. I always am. In fact, I've been collecting every drop of my urine for the past eight months as a part of my next project. This is from today. You can test it if you want. No, th thank you, Miss Johnson. That's okay. <laughs> Alexander Posner, just because you are a government employee, that does not give you permission to use my government name. My stage name is Aura. Aura Fices. Well, Miss Fices, there's another defense that we could pursue. Your sentence will be substantially reduced if you have a family history of mental illness, <sighs> so... I don't have a recorded history of mental illness, seeing as I will never go to a psychiatrist. My brain is perfect the way it is. It's what makes me an artist. Well, Miss Physis, I need you to work with me a little bit. We do need some kind of theory of our defense. Maybe I need a better lawyer. I'm a public defender. You couldn't afford a more competent lawyer, remember? Also, your court date is in three hours. What? Well, you didn't show up to any of our previous consultations. I was busy. The womb of my mind has been gestating the fetus that is my next please show. Please stay focused. Public indecency is a serious charge. It can levy a fine of up to $5,000 and it'll land you in prison and it'll land you on the sex offender registry. I didn't have sex with anybody. That's not exactly and what I meant. there's nothing offensive about the female body. Aura, your life and your reputation are going to be ruined if you don't work with the system here. Well, I'm not going to pretend to be mentally ill or on drugs. I stand behind everything I said and did. To do otherwise would be to sacrifice my artistic integrity. Artistic integrity? Why does that sound familiar? I'm also surprised you've heard of it. Hold on. Um, oh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. According to Midland's Penal Code, Section 18401, Subsection C3, if the nudity is conducted with creative and or political intent, then the public indecency charge is nullified. Uh, basically, if the jury believes that your performance had artistic integrity, then you get off scotch-free. I did not get off! Gross. That does sound perfect, though. So, like, we're done here, Well, or... hold on, hold on. I'm not sure if I can convince a jury of something that I don't at all understand myself. How exactly did this incident demonstrate artistic integrity? Figures you wouldn't get it. It was a performance piece expressing my pain endured from from developing as a woman in such a ruthless society. Growing up as a sexual being in a patriarchal world is traumatizing. I called it coming of age. Hmm. All right. Still not understanding why you had to be naked. It's not obvious. Nakedness is synonymous with vulnerability. And in a society where women are just constantly sexualized, being nude in public, it's, it's a statement. You know, it's reclamation. It's, it's an act of rebellion. Well, yes, it is 
illegal. God, not that kind of rebellion. Jesus, have you never consumed a piece of art in your goddamn life? Uh, not to my knowledge. What do you mean you haven't consumed art? Of course you have. I mean, we're all familiar with Edward Munch's The Scream. <sighs> Moving on. Salvador Dali? Mm, but that's not what clocks look like. That's not the... Okay, never mind. Andy Warhol! But I'm allergic to soup. you supposed to defend my art when you don't even know what art is? You're hopeless. I'm hopeless? You're gonna be my worst case this week and that is saying a lot. Well, it's not my fault you don't have any culture. You're brainwashed. You're a shell. You're a, a freaking fascist. Calendars are actually a Eurocentric construct anyways, so... I... I get it now. Get what? Art. I'll see you at the courthouse. Alex. Wait! My license is suspended. Can I get a ride? Yeah.